Solve the following inequality. Write the answer in interval notation. First, we solve this inequality as if it were an equation. For we make right hand side 0. So subtract 12 from both sides. Subtract 12 from both sides. We get x squared minus 4x minus 12 bigger than equal to 0. Factor this polynomial. So x square x times x 12 4 times 3 12 4 and 3 do not make 4 12 6 times 2 12 negative 4 so negative 6 plus 2 and if we solve thinking this is an equality then we would get from this factor x equals 6 from this factor we get x equals negative 2 now we do the following interval test write down the number line negative infinity through positive infinity and locate these numbers 6 and negative 2 so negative 2 here and 6 we are solving this inequality for bigger than equal to bigger than equal to so we make a dot this is negative 2 and this is 6 dot when we write the solution later we have to use bracket okay and that's the dot now we pick a representative from each interval you don't have to write but I'm picking a representative let's say any number in between negative infinity through negative 2 let's take negative 3 do the same thing now pick a number in between these two numbers so 0 and 7 now we plug these numbers into the polynomial here here or here doesn't matter and we want that to be bigger than 0 let's plug in here or you can plug in here as well because the right hand side is 0 okay let's plug in x equals negative 3 into this part if you like you can write here let's say the function x plus 6 x minus 6 and x plus 2 okay so we want to plug in these representative numbers here if we plug in negative 3 what are you gonna get negative 3 minus 6 negative 9 times negative 3 plus 2 negative 1 negative 9 times negative 1 negative times negative positive so we're gonna get positive numbers so I just write positive plus okay and now we repeat the procedure in this case we pick x equals 0 let's plug in 0 0 minus 6 negative 6 times 0 plus 2 2 negative 6 times 2 negative 12 so we get negative here negative value it doesn't matter how many negatives you write two or three or just one now repeat the same thing for the last interval let's take x equals seven seven minus six one seven plus two nine one times nine is nine just positive here okay so this is positive and we wanted to have this function bigger than equal to zero bigger than equal to zero means positive so we get positive here on this interval negative infinity through negative 2 and 6 through infinity so the solution is negative infinity never use bracket for infinity or negative infinity parenthesis negative infinity through negative 2 it's bigger than equal to and we have dot so bracket and 6 through all the way 6 through all the way again dot that means bracket this is included final okay that means if we choose any number in between in in this interval here or here and if we go back and plug in here that it will be bigger than equal to 12 